So this is a little egg candler I uh, made out of some of the scrap material left over um, from that little incubator project. And you can make this for, man, I mean, $3, $5 tops. Um, the plywood, like I said, was left over from the incubator. So if you did that, you'll have that already. And then I just used another one of those dollar store uh, extension cords. And I ended up, I actually had a, uh, a light um, a receptacle that was cracked. And they're even new, they're like a dollar, $1, dollar twenty. Um, and it was cracked, and I had just, I had too lazy to return it because it was so cheap. But I ended up breaking off chunks of it um, so that it would fit in here in a smaller box. And I'll show you that when I take it apart. But the egg I noticed on camera looks like a light bulb itself. In person, it's not quite so bright. You can actually see little dots and see through it and stuff. It's not too bad. Um, so it does a really great job of illuminating the egg really well. You can see uh, anything that's in there. This is just a store-bought egg. Uh, if I take this off, you can see how ridiculously bright that is. But I'll go ahead and take it apart and show you uh, what's going on inside. So here's the inside. Um, I just basically took a little box um, out of the plywood and I put some strips right here to uh, just basically add some more support so I could put the screw in, screws in because uh, this is so thin. Um, the aluminum tape in there is kind of optional. You could use foil too with regular tape. I just did that to reflect all the light around and out the hole. I did the same thing on the bottom of the face of that. That's an inch and a quarter hole. Uh, and the light bulb, I just happen to have one of those. Um, it's kind of nice in that it's only 23 watts, but puts out tons of... It's very bright, so but it doesn't put out a lot of heat, so you don't have to worry about overheating your egg or anything. Um, you could use a smaller bulb, 40 watt bulb, whatever you want. Uh, you wouldn't need something like 100 watts because it would be pretty hot, but uh, you can see in there there's the broken uh, light fixture that I just continued to break a little bit more until it fit in a smaller box. Just left one little anchor point there and wired it to the little extension cord. It took me maybe 10-15 minutes to get this thing fully together and it's a, a great little candler. It really illuminates the egg a lot better than like a flashlight would or something like that. Uh, plus you don't have to hold it all funny and put tape on the flashlight to narrow the hole. So yeah, feel free to have at it. Uh, another smart thing that you could do, I didn't have one handy so I didn't, is to add like a, a light switch, regular household light switch in here and wire that in so you could flick it on and off. That way it's not on immediately when you plug it in. Uh, but hope that's helpful for those of you out there who would like a cheap egg handler.